if you were to buy a Tesla, this is a very small issue that they're working to fix. And I've got it on my car as well. Take a look. Okay, so coming up to the next example, something I encounter every day, and I've shown this a few times, but I just cannot believe that it's not fixed yet. So we're stopping for the stop sign. Um, but because of, I think two things, there's a double stop sign here and there's really no line painted. So you'll see this red line now, my car is gonna go straight through this intersection and oh my gosh, it stopped. It almost never actually stops here. That's like, I think the first time I've experienced that. So, wow, I'm kind of blown away. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was a big bug for me. A few more examples coming up here and this is just kind of general like stoplight weirdness. Um, the stoplight like detection works okay. I mean, on the screen it's pretty perfect, but like where to stop and stopping appropriately and stuff like that is, I would say, just okay at best. Which you know, again, I'm complaining about something really cool. But so you can see these stoplights are up like this, and you'll see my car will get confused at the last second. Bam! And so it like freaks out and kind of slams on the brakes there, and I took over. Um, and those stoplights aren't even up yet. <laughs> They're like sideways. So it's cool that it recognizes it, but you know, and those, those will be functioning eventually, but dealing with that all the time, is pretty annoying. And then, uh, I mean, it's been like that for weeks, so I don't know when they're gonna actually make those functioning stoplights. So here's like a good example. I mean, it's, it's breaking a tiny bit hard, but who cares? Like, it's amazing. The thing is amazing. Um, but again, this is like my daily, I don't know, that stop sign working is like making me, um, kind of reconsider this whole idea. So, um, yeah, the acceleration is like pitifully slow. As <laughs> okay, so so to my Tesla detractors and my Tesla people that are really here just trying to really and truly learn about it, they did an update to the Model 3 and anyone who has a Tesla that can get the update where now when you got the car in self-driving mode, it recognizes stop signs and stoplights and in most cases, it'll stop. And then when it's time to go, you just got to flip the stop and it'll take off. But as you've seen in the video, some of the bugs with it is it takes off very slow. That's, that's, been, that's a bug that people deal with when they're changing lanes. But it's not bad with the change lanes anymore as it is when you take off. And sometimes it doesn't even recognize a stoplight or, or um, stop sign. Mm. So what do you do? You just take control. Tesla is telling yeah. you that this thing is kind of in beta, it's adapting and it's learning, and apparently it works better in some places than it than what it does in others. So that was my man, Dirty Tesla. Check him out on YouTube. That's my family. He's in Michigan driving yeah. Teslas. Here for me, my car pretty much stops for just about all stop signs, all stop lights. But it does take off slow, which this thing is a learning process for Tesla because every time you do those modes, it's learning how to do it better. And eventually, there are working to the point where it is complete. Leave your driveway, put in your address, and it's going to take you there and drop you off. Not quite there yet, but as you can see, they're putting the systems in place. And so that's the next phase right there. And I've told you guys before, the car is starting to be an appreciating asset just because of the technology in the car with the full self-driving. And right. that's getting ready to go up another $1,000, which is going to make it $8,000 coming up, I think he said, sometime in this year. But, you know, that's some of the buzz going on with the latest update for the Tesla stoplight and stop sign, just to drop you guys in. You got any questions about that, Larry? No, I mean, that's pretty exciting. I mean, it's 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 good to see that tech, and I hope that they I hope they don't hoard it and and share it and and license it out to other auto manufacturers so that other cars can have it. And it can be a thing that just that becomes just a part of our our daily lives. and And I think the more information it gathers, if they do license it out, the the more information it gathers from from different cars and different types of vehicles of different sizes. It'll just it'll just improve the accuracy of the self driving and uh, you know so I I think it's cool I you know I would love to have it I don't have a Tesla so I'm not gonna have it for a while until I get one but it's definitely exciting tech to see I love I love that self driving man I mean it makes it makes driving fun again that should have been somebody <laughs> or not slogan. driving fun yeah make make <laughs> make riding in the car fun again I mean it really just um, it it, it, it if you've had a long day and you're in like stop and go traffic, the car does it all for you. 
You just need right. to pay attention to make sure that it, you know, it doesn't catch a quick bug. But for the most part, the car brakes properly in front of another car. It, it pulls up properly. It switches lane properly. It mm. does it all for you. But you still got to pay attention. And the car forces you to pay attention because every about a minute and a half, you've got to just kind of tap the steering wheel or else it's going to take you out of self-driving mode. So when you get a chance, man, you might want to get a Tesla or you might want to move to the next and final topic for the money section. Is this going to be the Tesla killer? This <laughs> Monday, a company called Nikola. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've got Tesla and you got a company called Nikola. They're trying to rival Tesla. And for those of you who don't know, this man that a lot of these tech dudes modeled themselves behind, his name is Nikola Tesla. Okay. And this company is specializing in making trucks. Their stock is getting ready to take off before they even drop their first car. Let me let you guys take a look of some this particular stock you might want to get your hands on because it could be the future Tesla rival. Take a look at this. Okay, my thoughts on Nikola Motors. So NKLA, if you look at the one week chart, it's really crazy. Like it was at around like $33, $34, just messing around right there. And then suddenly it went all the way up to 44, went to 50. In a single day, Nikola Motors doubled its stock value, doubled the evaluation, and the stock went up 100% in a single day. June 8th was like the biggest date simply because the reservations for the Nikola Motor Badger, which if you look at it right now, this is actually one of the coolest trucks I've ever seen. Now, if you guys like the Cybertruck, if you guys like the Rivian, which is backed by Amazon's electric car company as well, but the Badger, this thing, reservations are on. If you look at the Badger, you can see pre-orders are June 29th. Now, this is a really big deal. This is pretty much teasing investors that they are going to be delivering a product very soon. When they start reservations, electric cars like these tend to come out in one to two years, two years max. Three, four years, that's a little bit too long for most people that get into reservations. So this means that Nikola Motors will be setting up their factory. They will be cranking out cars in a span of two years. And the stock is trying to reflect that valuation. Now, keep in mind that my thoughts on Nikola Motors is pretty good. I feel like it's a game-changing car company. It's not really a pump and dump because even with this insane growth, the stock has actually stabilized. Now, investing in this company is really scary. Remember, when you invest in Nikola Motors, be you know be very careful have the expectation that the company might fail and you might lose all your money so be very very careful if you want to invest money to nikola motors my thoughts are pretty much invest the money that you're willing to lose and this gentleman that you're seeing right here he's the ceo the company only has four employees right now his name is trevor milton what's special about him is because he's trying to be the anti-elon musk He's trying to be his own brand. He's all on social media, dancing and singing and doing all this public stuff. And he is trying to rival and take Tesla head on. And as you can see, they took over 50,000 pre-orders for this truck that might not come out for two years. And they're doing semi-trucks, ladies and gentlemen. I used to be a truck driver. And I can tell you putting that diesel in a truck is not cool at all. These <laughs> trucks are going to be all electric. And guess what, Larry? They've got some self-driving technology in them. I didn't say it's functioning self-driving. Self-driving right. technology in the trucks. And their truck, for some people, probably they look at it like it looks better than the cyber truck. To me, it looks about as good as the Rivian, the other electric company that's doing the electric truck. But right. I would tell you, these type of vehicles are definitely the future. And if you've got play money, if you believe electric is going to be the future, and I'm going to give you guys a big stock tip. If Joe Biden wins this election, anything that's green, anything electric, you better start investing in it because he's going to be about that life. Right. Barack Obama was about that life. Bill Clinton was about that life. These are the type of things Democrats life is all about. Just like when we about to get a Republican in office, I always say invest in armaments, invest in anything dealing with war, invest in coal and fossil fuels. I'm telling you right now, 
whether Biden gets it or not, this is the future. Give Nikola a try. The only drawback is, ladies and gentlemen, DC, the CEO and the other four employees, they don't get paid a salary. They're not taking a salary. So any money that they recruit is from the investments and the capital gains on the stock. So I'm hesitant to even recommend it. But for those of you that are looking to take a gamble on something that could grow to be $1,000 like Tesla is right now, in three years from now, this company could be $1,000 because they've got a lot of pre-orders for their truck. Their technology to me is right there close to Tesla, not superior, but very close. And if you're willing to take a risk right now, go get yourself some Nikola. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think for them to, to grow as big as Tesla, they're going to have to. I mean, the thing I guess what I'm thinking what I'm thinking is that Tesla is not just a car company. Tesla is a is a technology company. And and so it's it's different if you're positioning yourself as an automotive company. I mean, you can still grow and be big and be very successful. Don't get me wrong. But I think Tesla's on a, maybe the, the growth potential for Tesla just may be bigger and greater because they are a technology company and not just an automotive company. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You've seen what that stock looked like today. Yeah. And Tesla hasn't even launched other pro other properties. They still got to get that truck out there. They right. still got to get, they've got a semi truck that they're going to unveil. Um, they still got the Roadster that's supposed to unveil. Then they're going to start selling their batteries to other people using electric vehicles. So they've, they've got all these different streams of income coming in. Then they're going to start licensing out their um, self-driving technology to other people. Right. So if you, if you want a rock steady product or stock, you can always buy Tesla, but I'm just not recommending you buy Tesla right now while it's at its all time high. Tesla reached its all time high today. Wait for it to come back down a little bit. Wait for it to come back to at least $800. Don't go chasing it right now. <laughs> yeah, but don't, will it? Don't, That's don't, the question. Will it? 